looking today. Look at this. Still a little red, but most of the peeling is gone except for over here where I scratched. So it's got a little, and under here where it was itchy the other day and I was scratching too much and then my collar of my vest I wear at work kept rubbing on it. So it's still it's a little swollen. I've been putting uh, antibiotic stuff on it. But overall, it looks pretty darn good. Still gonna be red for a little bit, but it doesn't, it's not as red as it was. What do y'all think? Let me see with the light the different way. I think it looks pretty good. We'll see in about another week when it's all, well, let me see if this light, is that better? No, is that better? No, is that better? <laughs> Maybe, oh, hey, look, Maybe it's a little better. Mm, no, how about that one? Mm, maybe, a little light behind me in the shower. Anyway, I think it's looking pretty good. What do you people think? And I don't look as scary this morning because I got up and took a shower and stuff because, you know, I didn't want y'all to freak out. John wasn't here, so why look scary? <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> who am I to... Who, who's on here? Oh, hi, Anissa, Kim. Oh, yeah, it does look way better, huh? It's going to look fantastic in about a week. Hi, Vicki Brown. Is King going to be the new CEO of PRMC since Susan Page is retiring? About fucking time. Anyway. Um, yeah, happy Sunday to you. I just got a little outfield playing in the background. I'm going to put a pork roast in the oven. My mom didn't go to church today because she didn't feel like it. But I wanted to give you an update on the old face. So yeah, it's looking way better. The whole thing is it produces more collagen when you do this to your skin. So, I mean, your pores get a lot tighter. Of course, it pulls all the shit out of your skin. So, God knows. Like, ugh. but the big age spot over here that I had up here looks like it's pretty much gone. So this is the second TCA acid peel I've done. And the third... I did, before that I did about five glycolic peels, which are really, really light. And it just was kind of like using a buff puff almost. It was like, I use a buff puff every day anyway. So, um, yeah, the glycolic peel you do it every six weeks until the bottle's gone. And you just use, um, I wouldn't suggest if you're going to try this at home that you start with a 30 like I did because I've been working up to that. So if you're gonna try this at home, maybe a 10% solution, but make sure that there's some really good videos on YouTube. Um, there's a gal from a spa that does Jesner's and the TCA peel together, or just read a lot about it. Don't even try this without, cause I'm telling you, I burnt the fuck out of my face. Like last Sunday, I don't know what you people, somebody should have called me or called 911 cause I was a fucking mess. What the hell? But whatever, you all know I'm crazy. That's why you're friends with me, because I'm the crazy one. Anyway, so here's update. Yeah, looks a lot better. Just need to get this to, oh, it's just so fucking bad. But anyway, up close, there's still some up here, a little peeling, some over here I can feel. I can't see it because you know, I'm blind. But I think my pores look tighter. Some of the fine lines are gone. <laughs> anyway and yes Tyler Jones this baby's butt's looking good and they ain't got shit on it so how about that for the wire brush treatment okay people have a great Sunday see you manana